Hello everybody! This video is going to be a little different than some of my recent videos because I am vlogging. So today I am heading to Saskatoon for an acrylics class. So I am a certified nail technician and esthetician and so in my full aesthetics course there was a acrylic portion of it as well. However, I did not find that it was very thorough. So I do not offer acrylics to my clients. I'm not sure if I will after this class either. We will see how it goes. Hopefully I pick it up all right. But the reason I'm taking this class is here in Saskatchewan, they offer a nail technician journeyman. And so I think I am close to having my hours finished to in order to write that exam and become a journeyman nail technician, which is super, super exciting. However, in order to kind of pass the test, there's two portions. So there's a written portion and then there's a practical portion. And for the practical portion, it is uh, pedicures, gel nails, and acrylics. So that is the reason why I'm taking this class, because I really want to brush up on my acrylic skills, seeing as I do not offer acrylic to my clients right now. I'm not very great with it. Um, there's a lot that I know that I need to learn. So I'm very, very, very excited to be going to Saskatoon today to be taking this course. It is at Best Buy Aesthetics. So I will be sure to update you once I get into the city. It is currently just before 8 a.m. and I am just feeding my cats and then I am hitting the road. Um, we did get a pretty big snowfall a couple days ago, so I'm hoping that the roads are cleared and that the highways will be okay and that I get there in time. I'm leaving with plenty of time. So I will update you guys all when I get to Saskatoon. Bye for now. <laughs> Okay, so we have now made it to Best Buy Aesthetics in Saskatoon. So let's go in and see what class has in store for us today. Now, and I'm actually inside Best Buy Aesthetics. So I just want to take you on a little quick tour before class starts. So here's just an overview of the store. And now let's just take a closer look at what they have. So it looks like this is the makeup section, which I do not know anything about. Looks like they have a fairly large selection though. Some more makeup, nail polish, some hair accessories, some appointment books, which I might have to pick one of those up because I need a new one for 2018. Okay, and here's some nail stuff. Some vacuums, some e-files. Your preempt hand sanitizers. Some really pretty scarves over here. Then some implements. I love their wall deco, that's really pretty. I've actually been looking for something similar to that to put in my salon at home. Then their customer service desk, workspace. And we're in the back of the store now, and there's some Logics products. I, my clients actually love this um, dry skin mousse. It's very popular with my clients. Then this looks like your files and stuff. Some lotions, buttercreams. Then over here we have some waxing products, which I don't do a ton of waxing, I just do some facial waxing. Some more nail files and LCN products it looks like. So this is the fall collection and it comes in this gorgeous little clutch bag. Very, very pretty. 
cleanser, some super shine. I'm loving my super shine that I picked up at the Nail Masters event. Some little gift bags, a demo station to try before you buy, which I love this idea. Some e-nail couture stuff, which is actually what the acrylic class that I am in today is being taught with is the Max Estrada e-nail couture products. And then this is the brand new black chrome, which I am picking one up for sure. And then they also have the brand new happy gel up there, which I will also be grabbing to test out and do a video for you guys with. And then over here we have some accents. The Luxio gel polish, some of their colors, builders, some forms and stuff down there. And then we are into nail art. So they have some different kind of nail art brushes, some art supplies, some chrome, some stickers, some little flowers, striping tape. Then around over here is some more art supplies some tips, oh and then some lash supplies as well. I am trained to do lashes but I do not offer lashes because it just wasn't popular with my clients. And then another little LCN foot care display. Okay so I lied, the workshop's actually at Spa Academy which is the education portion of Best Buy. So it is literally just two, do two doors down from Best Buy. Okay, so now we're inside Spa Academy, which is the education portion of Best Buy Aesthetics. They are just down the street from each other, and this is where our class is being held today, because this is where their space is. So it is actually a full education place. They have um, offered the full aesthetics course and individual courses. So this is kind of their reception area because you can come here and get services done and often it's a little cheaper when you go to schools to get services done because the students are just learning so here is a little contest that they're running for or not contest a little prize bag that they're raffling off it looks like for November Okay, and then they have a little retail area over here. I love this picture. It's so funny. Okay, so they have some more foot logics over here. So this area is more geared towards your clientele, not uh, the professional retail section that was over in Best Buy. This is just retail for your clients. And if we go around the corner over here, this is where the actual classroom is. So there's people starting to set up for the day. So they have a couple nail desks, and then over here they have a little pedicure station, which is really cool. So I should go set up, and I will check back again in a bit. Okay, so this is the little gift bag that came with it. It is super, super cute. I love the packaging. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So up first, if I can get it out of the bag, we have the Max Estrada nail forms. And I have never used these forms before, but they look really good and I am always in the market to try new things, so I'm excited to give those a try. Then we have a 100 to 40 nail file from LCN. Okay, we have an acrylic brush. I'm not sure the brand, but I believe they said it's a size 8 or 10. You'll see me use it later on in this video anyways. I love the crystal handle of it though. We have Milky Way acrylic, which is kind of an off-white color. Next we have crystal clear acrylic, which as the name sounds, is clear. And then we have a colored acrylic in a neon yellow, super, super bright. 
we have shiny top coat which is a tack free top coat we have the monomer which is supposedly smells like cotton candy a yellow buffer this is the prep I believe it's kind of hard to read the bottle though some pure acetone and we have an accents little mini buffer a lid for the dampen dish Uh, just some clear swatch sticks to practice on. And then we have Eternal Beige Acrylic, which is a really, really pretty cover pink. It says beige, but it's a pink. And the base for the dampened dish. And then last but not least, a, another LCA Nail File 100-180 grit. So this is everything that came in the kit. This is going to talk a lot. This is a workshop, so I can't possibly ever in a four or a five hour time period. Okay, this is a practice sheet sealed in a heavy duty plastic folder. And what it is is some realistic nail shapes, some ball practice, and some ball and drag practice. And then on the back side, it is a whole bunch of information about. Uh, light cured systems as well as liquid powder systems, which is your gel and your acrylic. So this sheet was super handy to practice with during the Okay, course. so I sped this portion up, but this is my first attempts at applying the acrylic. So we were just practicing with the wetness and dryness of beads and creating beads and pulling them down. And as you can tell, I was working with my beads very wet off the start, but I started to get the hang of it after I had played around with it a little bit. It's a learning curve. I am a gel tech primarily, so this was a whole new concept to me. I apologize that I kind of went out of frame here. I was focusing on working more rather than watching. But And then this last nail, I attempted to cover the entire nail, which was all right. It was really hard working on this paper because it was flat, so it was really hard to kind of work on the sidewalls and stuff. Once I moved into my swatch stick, it was a whole lot easier, but this was my first attempt. Please don't be too hard on me. I am just learning. Okay, so this next clip is also sped up a little bit. This is my first go at doing the acrylic on a swatch stick. So for this nail, I was really focusing on trying to use the appropriate portions of my brush for each application area. But it's hard, it's a completely different technique than working with gel, so it is a learning curve for me by far, and I will keep playing with it now that I'm home again, but I think I did not too bad. It was definitely super fun, and the instructors were very, very helpful. I loved learning about the different portions of the brush, because unlike gel with acrylic, each different portion of the brush is has a different function, which I think is super cool. Okay, every time I do this, I'm gonna take some off. So your natural instinct as a gel tech is gonna to be to do this. You're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go, oh, that's too much. And you're gonna go, oh, that's too much. And you're gonna keep going, and all of a sudden you have hardly any liquid, even though it looks really wet, it has hardly any liquid in it. So eventually I want you to get to the point where you can go in, pick that up, and as long as it's not, if it drips, it's gonna drip in here and you're gonna have a ball part in a jar. Okay? But do you see that as it gathers, I can shake it, it's not coming off. Does that make sense? So if you go here, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Right? And then, do you see how I'm just letting the product go to the brush. I'm not moving the brush all the way around. But as I spin it like this, do you see it's... Now that's pretty dry. If I were to put this on here, do you see it's not going to stick because it's too dry. So I'm going to do this more accurate. Okay. Okay.
I always look for that cauliflower type of look. And I place it here. You see that it's going to flow. Now, if I were to touch this with this, it's going to be too wet. So I'm just going to go here. And then again, now it's going to make sense what now that you've played with it a few times. Watch where I, watch where I'm using my brush. Using the belly to flatten it. I use the side to get it to come back. And then I'm going to use the tip on my brush to bevel it in towards the cuticle. I'm going to pretend this is a cuticle and not this point. Do you see that I'm using, do you see the angle I'm using? That's going to get it right into the cuticle. I'm going to use the belly to keep bringing it back. And then I'm just going to use the tip of the brush to blend it forward. So do you always pat it down first and then go in and do sides and yeah, then bevel? I think once, when you, when you use the belly at least a couple times, you're going to move it like on the paper, it just kind of went where it's going to went. And mm -hmm. then, you know, that's where Lucy was saying, take the brush and push it back. But when you have a sidewall there, you can't really just push it back. So I'm going to go in the center. I don't want to push really hard because I don't want to get away, but I'm just going to kind of flatten it so that it kind of moves uniform over. Do you see how it's still movable? I can still move it. I'm going to flatten it to the sides and I'm going to use the edge of my breast to just kind of straighten that out. And then I can use just the tip when I want to flatten it just barely, just a whisper of product. I'm going to use the very tip of my brush. And then I'm going to use the tip of my brush when I want to smooth it or pull it forward. But if you really keep using the belly everywhere, that's where you're going to splay it and pick up the product. Splay it, pick up the product. And especially when you get into glitter, mm -hmm. you don't want to keep picking up the glitter. So that's where you want that feather light touch when you're going to blend it. Okay, this clip is also sped up a little bit. And in this clip, I attempt my first baby boomer or French fade, whatever you want to call it, white to pink fade. So for the white portion, I am using the Milky Way, and then for the pink portion, it is Eternal Beige. And let me tell you, this was so much easier doing this with acrylic. I found it blended way easier. It was way quicker than doing it with gel. So next time a client comes in and wants a baby boomer nail, I am pulling out my acrylic and I am not giving them a choice because this made it so much easier. And I apologize that this clip is in and out of focus. Again, I was focusing on doing the work and not really realizing what my camera was doing in the meantime. So my apologies, I did the best I could. Okay, so class is all done now. My brain is on overload. Hopefully I got some good fit footage. It might be in and out of focus. I apologize for that. I was trying to learn and not so much focusing on my camera, but hopefully, fingers crossed, there's some good footage. But it was an amazing day. Veronica from Best Buy was incredible. I highly, highly, highly recommend any class you can take with her. She was full of knowledge and she has a no BS rule. She just gives you the facts, tells you how it is, is completely non partial to any product it was just straight information which I absolutely loved it was such an incredible class the other students in the class were amazing as well and spoiler alert I picked up some happy gel which is Enail Couture's kind of hybrid gel it's um, a gel acrylic kind of mix I will be doing a kind of not first impressions because I played with it a tad bit during this class, but I will be doing a kind of review video on the happy gel, so stay tuned for that. But I am just doing some other running around in the city now, and then I am hitting the road to go back home. It was an amazing day. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Marie and Best Buy Aesthetics. It was awesome. I will be back for another class, I promise you that. So bye for now, I will show you what I got when I get back home. Okay, so I'm back home again, and as promised, I have the rest of the haul that I bought at Best Buy Aesthetics for you. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you. It's a very, very tiny haul, but I'll show you anyways. Okay, so this is everything extra that I bought that wasn't part of my kit. So we have the Happy Gel in Eternal Beige. Then I also purchased the Ineo Couture Black Chrome which is the first black chrome in North America. As far as I know, I'm very, very excited to play around with that. And then I just got another just scrubby brush, just a cheap brush to clean my implements with. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog video. 
and be sure to stay tuned for my next video. Bye!